dudes. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Widows of Wardrobe. Wine back. Your host, Jahari Avandu, and your other host, Lena Lux. Von Du. The House of Von Du is here to speak some words of truth. We are going to clock these hoes. Okay. Once again on their looks. This week's challenge was Halloween. Clearly, she's in spirit. <laughs> I'm just a thought. So, Accurate. welcome back. <laughs> First up, we have someone who's been killing it, and that is Q. So they decided to do a mummy. Oh, I did a mummy my season, so I can't, I'm like, I'm feeling the oats. I like the look, it's cool. I don't have anything negative to say. I like that they're like padded and like wearing titties. Yeah. It yeah, it's it's really cute. Uh, I like it a lot. It's not like groundbreaking. Like mine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is like, it's cute. It's a really like realized look. I like the body. Uh, it looks bomb. It's a stunning. Stunning. Up next, we have uh, one of our returning girls, Miss Veronica Mitchell. She came back to fight for a spot in the competition, and she's giving you like a modern day Beetlejuice, like sexy moment. And yeah, I think the makeup is fierce. Yeah, it's the cool. outfit's cute. I mean, yeah, the look is stunning. It's nothing like blowing my mind, but it's cute. I hate these shoes. I think the shoes could have been edgier or you could have worn stirrup tights because your toes are showing. Mm -hmm. And right now they look like biscuits. But yeah. The look is a stunning, I know what I mean. Yeah, it's, it's a, stunning. a stunning. You look good and yeah. you're wearing green, so. Next we have our one and only Tilly and he's cut cave as Gollum. I think the makeup is a little rough. The outfit's cool. I think your arm makeup could have matched your suit more, if not even just made the bodysuit sleeve. But it's like, it's good. I'm actually really proud of you just because your looks have been a little bit more on the simplistic side. So if this is really like interesting and different and outside of your box, it's just done. I hate this makeup. I hate it so much. Um, <laughs> That's rude bitch. Well, dolphin noise. Just saying, uh, that being said, like, I think it did uh, come together as a fully realized look as Gollum. It worked really well. It's a stun. It's it's halfway there. It I, um, I like it when it's fully put together, but, like, it's not, like, perfect. Next we have the bearded bitch herself of season four, Carmela Uchawi. She is giving us Prince, a dead prince, which I think is so cute and fun. I think her mug looks really good. Like her prosthetics look well done. I love how like the blood is purple. Yeah. And like just the hair, everything is perfection. This is fucking sick. Um, you look good. I wish um, your hair was low key on the other side or either you um, put your prosthetic on the other side, like switch them because there's like a lot more of that purple ooze that you can't see because of the hair. Oh, right. Like you should have done your prosthetic on the opposite side wherever your hair right. was flipped. Just Probably realized it like more. after the fact, but no, this is this is everything. I would have loved to seen like some nail polish. I think that would have really made the look cool, like very thin too, and like mm -hmm. androgynous. But overall, I think this is really stunning and well put together. And yeah, it's a stunning. Yeah, no, it's a stunning. And she got the highest score this week, so yeah, yes, bitch. Our next contestant, which is going to be the one, the only Misty. I think your mug looks so fierce, per usual. I don't really understand the black hand. I just think it's a little safe. Like, you're so pretty. This could have been like your one week to like be gross or mm -hmm. show a different side of you. And I feel like we got the same thing as we did from your homecoming qualifier look. Right, literally what I was gonna say. For me, um, I saw this once in the season and it was the qualifier. It's just a different color dress with blood on it. And I said the same thing then, that was basic, so bringing something the same that is just as basic. I mean, it's cute, you look good, but that's it. I feel it. like this, the fabric looks... Yeah, and the blood doesn't, it doesn't even like read as blood because of the fabric that you put yeah, in. Yeah, like I would have liked to see you in like a, like a antique kind of wedding gown or like something cloth. Like with it on the silk, it just looks like Kool-Aid or something. <laughs> Yeah. Like Kool-Aid like Kool blood. I don't know. It's a boot for me. 
not and like you look gorgeous it's not it's an okay look i just i would just like to see more from you yeah it's a bootleg sorry girl yes bitch but at least you have that mug hanny so our next contestant bitch she will attack you baby it is sheila attack you come on shelly webb shelly webb is here giving it's a you bootleg. Jane. Oh, yeah <laughs> i have no no yeah, this is a boot. I think you've spent more time like working on these shoes and these damn fucking earrings than this costume. Like, this bodysuit is really ugly. And like, they already clocked you on the undergarment corset. Like, the wit, oh, the makeup. The makeup. Honestly, I said it last wait. week, I'll say <laughs> no, it again. Wait. So this one, honestly, um, I'm okay with it because like she was a dead body. So I took it as if like her face was like ran over. <laughs> she does look like, ran over. They look like tire tracks to me. This I guess. is my advice: don't use these plastic stones. They don't even look ab. And the same thing that we said with Misty, like the blood is it's, it's not like reading as much. Yeah, you're not doing too well at these like bloody prosthetic looks, these gory looks. Like just stay away from <laughs> bleeding, girl. You want to be dead so bad. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Nah, it's a bootleg. Boot leg. Next we have Miss Sapphire Rain. I'm disappointed. This is giving me like Dahlia Black's Dragula episode one outfit. It just looks a little safe for me. I think the spider in your hair is cool, but it blends in with the wig. Bothers it looks me. good though. It's not like she looks like trash and- No, it looks good. I just, I kind of, I've seen you do some like cool creepy shit. So when I see this, I'm kind of like, what? Are you giving up, girl? Like, what is happening? I'm getting frustrated here. You Make know, it Sapphire, happen. you're fierce. I want to see, like... I don't know. It's not bad. No, I love the face here. The mug is Your mug is looking good here, too. Hell yeah. I'll give it a stun. Like, it's not that bad. No, it's a good look. I just need... You know that you can bring more, so I don't know what is happening. So we're going to move on to our next contestant. We got Miss a Glitter Gal Jess. Yes, girl. She's giving us skeleton realness. She's giving us, I'm doing the bone dance. I think this is really fierce. She made a really basic idea look very elevated. It's because of them stones, girl. Her stone work was yeah. fucking incredible. You can tell, like, all the detail. Like, it, she showed, like, if you stone at the house, like, girl, her mug is stone and she's painted for the gods. Her headpiece is freaking dope. The shoes, like everything Are, is so cool. It's so perfect. And she like danced and like, just like did her thing. You know? Yeah, that was real fun. And she did a wig, wig reveal, reveal. into Hello? that real hair. Oh, honey. This is how you do something simple for this week, but make it look good. Right. She had the cool cloak and yeah. You, my dear, are stunning for me. Yeah, you are like destroying this low key. Like stunning. you are killing it. So our next contestant is Giving us the Baba Duke realness, Miss Melissa Uptown. Baba, she better don't. Ah! <laughs> I think the idea is sick me. This is funny. I think you bit off a little more than you could chew makeup wise. I just think the makeup is not, that's like what's not selling it. The look is cool and your finger gloves, that's really cool too. Yeah, honestly, I like the jacket and the boot little combo thing going on and the hat is super, super cute. But then when you look at the face, the it's a little off. Like the mouth is just not She like, could have done some cool stuff with like construction paper mm -hmm. and like to do it. Cause the Babadook's like flat, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it, it doesn't read well. Yeah, not that well. Okay, um, it's a boot. It's a bootleg, girl. Sorry. I'm not. Because if I wouldn't have known you were doing Babadook, it would have took me a second. So our next contestant is another person returning and fighting for a spot in the competition. Yeah, we have Miss Jules, Michael. Yes, we have a Michaels coming in. She's not going to disappoint, I hope. And she is giving us a clown for Halloween. Okay, so our first clown of the night. I... Jahari has done a clown in the past and won. I've done a clown in the past and won. Hello. Go on, have some fun, dude. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so we know a thing or two about clowns, I would say. I think it's cool. I think the neck piece is a little kind of basic. We know it's a tutu. I think she could have done some cool stuff to make it look cooler. Does that make sense? Yeah. It just looks like, oh, skirt up here which is handy but i think oh like she could have 
dangled some stuff off of it or like some weird like um, just trimming. Yeah. Just to make it look a little bit more elevated. But your mug is dope. This wig is so cool. And yeah, I think you look really good and you came in very strong for sure. Yeah, no, I like it. This wig is fucking sick. You're painted, of course. Like, yeah, the mug. Oh, and there's like the underneath, she had the other little tool. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I enjoy this a lot. It's like cohesive. Hell yeah. It's a stun. Uh, I'll give you a stunning. I think you look good. I'm gonna stick with stun. But so Up together, next, we have Miss Felicia, Felicia B. Queen. Queen. Oh, honey, it was Miss Felicia B. the Boogeyman. This is so cool to me, and I think this was the most creative that night. You took a total, like, animated cartoon character, brought it to life, and made it fashion. The shape, the look, I think it is so freaking cool, and I think this is just the best you've looked the whole season, in my opinion, and I think this outfit matches the level of drag you can do. Okay. So I'm just really proud of you. And you sang, and you sounded good. Like, there was a couple parts where, you know, you lost your breath, or you changed the lyrics to how you wanted. But I wouldn't even clock that because it just, it was so fucking cool. Mm -hmm. I think you just had a disadvantage going after Carmella. Because, like, she was so good, so they, like, kind of were being hardish. But I think you just look so dope. This is so creative. No, it's fucking cool. It's giving me, like, real life, like, that Naomi Smalls moment when she did the Scarecrow. Scarecrow, like, yeah, like, when they're like. This. It's like, oh, bitch. I just, I feel like. When I look at her, I want to, like, put a string on her head and kind of bounce her because of the legs. The of, pants? Yeah. I know, the legs look <laughs> so crazy. And, like, yeah, it's very Naomi Smalls because they were like, everyone take a look at Naomi. This it's, is how you win the competition. Like, hello. That is so cool to me. Um, and I know you got second place, which is well-deserved. You and Carmella were definitely sick. I also love the detail of this. All yeah. the threads. Like, the, that's the, so cool. Uh, it really made it. So yeah, whoever so made this, cute. if you made it, I don't know, give it, like, girl, high five. And the makeup, I would have loved to have seen, like, a black liner just to mask your lashes a little better. And the makeup's cool. It still reads a little kind of sluffy-ish. I like this. Same kind of the, I have a mouth issue, the same that was with Melissa. It's just black. It was just, like, I don't know. There's no, like, definition. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, the, the outfit itself makes up for it, so. You look stunning, my dear. Yeah, stunning. Now we have to move on to another contestant who was fighting for a spot back in. It is Yabu Thang Araj. So I think you look really good. The outfit's dope. But for being the Antichrist, I definitely think you could have like been a little scarier. I think something that would have been cool with the jumpsuit is like it being a two a two piece. But like instead of straight hems, they were like jagged, mm -hmm. maybe uneven, just looking like bitch. You came from hell. And like the makeup, I thought read more like a cat. Like you looked like a really sweet cat. Like you didn't look like, ugh, like scary. But then again, I know Lucifer's pretty. Like in some movies, like it's like a just a a a, a, a man, like yeah. a pretty man. I don't know. I just, ugh, I really could have seen you go fucking weird with it, and twisted, especially with the song choice. So it's a stun. You look great, but I would have loved to see a more like scarier moment for you. Tell me what you think, Jordan. Um, so I kind of agree, like, I w went back and watched some of the videos, and I didn't realize how, like, pretty the face really does look, like, and entirely, maybe it's just your face, you know, like, whatever. It just read really, really pretty, so I get that, but also, you know, it was cute. And then that outfit was fucking bomb, like, hello. Oh, it's a stunning, duh. Yeah. Our next contestant, she's been in it, she's been fighting too. She is giving you Joan Crawford tonight, the one, the only edible. I like the look. I think she looks pretty good. It's safe. Um, we know you can look polished and pretty. Like, like, be weird, be crazy. This is honestly the first look that uh, you have ever, I've ever seen on you that I was not a fan of. Uh, mainly because of the hair. The cut of it was super weird. So it made your forehead look like a box. I also think you could have made yourself look old, right? She could have made herself look like a bitchy old lady. Yeah, and she needed like a bigger swoop in that hair. Like it was too small. Uh-uh. It's a boot. Yeah, it's a Cause I'm just, leg. I'm feeling rude. Right now, so far, Arash made it back in. Mm -hmm. So did Jewel. So yes. congratulations to them. Fortunately, Veronica didn't. And we she have one not. last girl who showed up to fight for another spot. Molly Pre- No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. 
the one, the only, bitch herself, Monica Bolowinski. She came in to fight for a spot. She was origi like originally invited, but mm -hmm. something happened. Same with Jules. So she's here to prove her moment. This is really basic, if I'm being honest. Uh, trying to get back into a competition, this is not something that I would personally bring. I think the face was the coolest part. Yeah. The prosthetic and the glitter black was really, really cool. I just wish you did more with an outfit, like maybe like have matching. Stones, black stones everywhere. Yeah. Cool gloves. And I all, like, yes, the mug is cool, but you just like painted your face black and it's easy to just, if you do the whole face black, it's easy to make it look good. You can't see if the prosthetic was glued right. You can't, I don't know. I think it was the safest way to go, which is a good decision for you. Hope to see you push the envelope for you. I feel like you have a lot to prove. Bring it, girl. This look to me is a little easy, a little, for coming back in, like, bitch, you should be ready to fight. Like, yeah, something crazy different. Like, it was just a little, like, predictable for me. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't say predictable. I would never think anybody would come in that. Overall, I'm just gonna have, a, have to give it a bootleg. It's just a little too basic. It's a bootleg. Thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> another episode of Widow's Wardrobe Wine Back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We upload a video for every challenge. Don't forget to tune in to Drag Survivor Casey on Instagram to actually watch. And, bitch, comment down below your favorite look. Did you agree with us? Did you not? Like, come on. Let us have it. I want to know who, who did you like. You know what I mean? Personally, I don't care. Uh, exactly. So if you don't like our opinion, fuck you. <laughs> if you do like our opinion, fuck you. <laughs> but anyway, we'd love to see your guys' thoughts and opinions. All of our social media will be dropped down below. And me and Jaharia, we have one more thing to say. Oh, we're whispering. <laughs> <laughs> me and my girl, my fellow sister, we have came to a conclusion. We have our top stunning, right? Yeah. Okay. But... Felicia B. Queen, Queen. Uh, bitch. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. Yes, girl. I, the look is sickening. You look fucking fierce. Keep it up. You have finally blossomed. I'm ready to see more. So congratulations on your first top stunning this season. And I can't wait to see what you bring. And all you other bitches, next episode is Under the Sea. Let's see who sinks or swims, baby. Bring the looks, bitch. Because we're not going to get any nicer. I mean, especially this one. So... Until next time, stay gorgeous. Deuces. Hey, bleed it before you beat it. Wow. <laughs>